Hey you guys, I'm Jay. Lisa's in the house. We're our simple adventures. Anyway, uh, a few days ago, I was uh, running some errands. I, was, I actually stopped at the grocery store, then, then went to uh, Home Depot. And as, as, as I was backing into a parking spot at Home Depot, um, with the brakes, I felt something weird. It just, it just felt weird. So then when, when I came back out, <clears throat> and pulled uh, out and in the parking lot and, and you know how they have those within the parking lot basically they have little stop signs you know um but i went to i went to stop at this stop sign within the parking lot going about 10 mile an hour and my foot went to the floor i was able to uh, thankfully nobody was coming in right there but i was i was able to uh to uh pull into a parking spot get out and bear was puking brake fluid so i had to call triple lane and he and he towed towed me here so uh anyway i'll uh be right back Yeah, so I, I had never had anything like that happen in 45 years of driving driving vehicles. Uh, good thing I wasn't on the street coming up to a stoplight or, um, yeah, I would have rear-ended somebody or gone into the intersection. But uh, anyway, thank God. Good Lord is watching out for us. But uh, what it looks like happened here was, now I've been, I've been, the brake's been making some noise, so I knew I was going to need to do the do, do the brake pads and probably the rotors. Um, they were scraping. I was waiting until we got into our house, so I had a, a driveway, a garage with all my tools, um, where I could do the do the brake pads. Well, I guess I guess they couldn't wait, but it appears that uh, the in, in, inside brake pad is missing. And as I take it apart, I'll, I'll show you that. Uh, it, it, it fell out or broke or something and uh, the caliper pistons are sticking against the uh, the rotor and and uh, dumping the brake fluid so we're gonna we're gonna go in today and uh, change caliper the rotor and do new new brake pads pads of course and then we'll have to then we'll have to fill it back up with brake fluid and bleed them so join me okay um yeah as you can see i've already got the tire the wheel off um see i got that wheel off and i went back inside for a minute got a drink of water and lisa said uh are you filming because you were gonna film I'm like oh anyway so she caught me with just the wheel off yeah these are these eight lug nuts and this Kind of like a, a, a wheel cover and all you do to get this off is could use lisa helping is kind of use a flathead screwdriver or a little, little pry bar and this this will pop off it just kind of snaps on so 21 these uh, lug nuts are are uh, 21 millimeter okay b before we take the caliper caliper bracket off, this this is the brake line right here, and we want to at least just break this loose, the, uh, the this banjo bolt right here, just just break it loose because once you get that caliper off, it'd be super hard to break that loose with the caliper off, and that's that's 15 millimeter. millimeter. Probably gonna get a little bit of brake fluid out of there. wasn't too bad okay now we're gonna remove these two caliper uh, bolts and uh, 
this happened last Wednesday. This is now Monday. Um, I ordered the parts on Thursday. But uh, I came in here and I sprayed WD-40 on all these these bolts. You know, this would start working and loosen them up and it seems to, seems to have worked. This is 16, 16 millimeter. Backwards here, let's see. This way. I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect this because there's no no brake fluid in there. Um, Cause I don't want to, to hang this. I don't want to hang the caliper from this. Get my 15 milliliter again. Yeah, I made made a mess on the Home Depot parking lot. A little bit of a mess out here in the street where the tow truck unloaded me. You know, we just moved into this house. We didn't want to get it all over the driveway, so I got car cardboard here. I had a bunch of cardboard boxes that I backed up here as it dripped on those cardboard boxes. Now there's there's copper washers in there. They're, they're, they're crushable. So I hope this caliper has, I guess it would, but there's one on each side of this. So when you when you torque it down, and I'll get you the torques uh, when I do it. Um, yeah, here's it. You know, they kind of crush and seal. So, uh, okay. Got a little bit of fluid left in there. I'll put you right in there. Yeah, see how the, uh, the pistons are all the way out? Yeah, it was getting pretty thin. Wonder where I lost that other other brake pad. Okay, these two bracket bolts are 21 millimeter also, just like the the lug nuts. Okay, this, this is the handle of the jack. I was looking for something. I need more leverage. I don't have much room here, and that thing is tight. So I'm going to put this on here. And that should do it, I hope. Yes, there we go. There we go. For those of you that don't know, I was a jet engine mechanic in the, in the Air Force many years ago. Get that on. And I'm not saying we did that in the Air Force because you're not supposed to use tools like that. Um, but you know, friends who like to work on their own cars and that learn from them too. Okay, can you? There we go. Oh. That other pad is in there. It was just broke. Broke. Kind of jammed up in there. Okay. Okay. Now hopefully this rotor will come off fairly easy. Sometimes you got to beat on them. Still kind of uh, earlier in the morning, and I don't want to torque these neighbors off 
our second week owning this or be, being here. So I'm going to wait just a little bit. Then I'm going to have to get out the sledge mallet. Okay, that that was a bear cat. Um, yeah, there's the oh, there's the rotor right there, and. My sledgehammer is how I got it loose. Um, I was I was I was banging it, boom, 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 like that, and then also from the back, and wasn't getting anywhere. Was not getting anywhere. So I I I went against against the rotor in like this, and it broke it loose. So. Yeah, you, you, you may need to hit it on all sides. This is the parking brake. I didn't realize those, those were drum, or uh, yeah, drum, drum brakes. But uh, if, they're, if they're sticking out a little too far too, that can, that can make the uh, rotor hang, or yeah, the rotor hang up. And you, you can adjust, adjust them after you get the rotor off right here you know make it easier to get the new ones on okay so far so good let's uh, start going back together with it okay we're gonna hit we're gonna hit it with some brake clean Yeah, sorry, just went and met another another neighbor. Uh, my brake clean is empty, so uh, we'll have to just go without that. So let's uh, let's start going back together with this. Well, it was kind of tore up a little bit coming out of the box. Huh. Check and see if they're damaged. I doubt they are, but. Uh, I don't like how that was packed. Okay, here, here's the new the new caliper. There's the new uh, caliper bracket. They were together. I pulled it apart to get the bracket up put on first. Then we'll, then we'll put the the pads and the caliper on. Okay. Okay. Got a little bit of uh, brake lubricant. We're going to put that right where the pads are going to ride, you know, because they go in and out. Re reduce uh, reduce noise, brake chatter. So, yeah. They always recommend doing that. If I can get it to come out. There we go. I did, I did the front brakes and, sh and shocks on Bear before before we left on our adventure three years ago. So yeah, these back brakes were definitely due. Okay, putting the uh, bracket on. Be, be sure and put some uh, thread thread lock on there. No, no, no lubricant or anti seize or anything like that. Just, just thread locker. Now we got to torque them to 203 foot pounds. Hopefully, you all have a torque wrench. This is a torque wrench. Every bolt, nut, whatever has a has a torque in their specs. Oh. Oh. 
All right, that's some big torque there. You hear, you hear it clicking? That's torquing. Okay, we got the brake pads. Um, you have these clips that will kind of slide in and they're kind of springy to help the, the pad return to its position after you uh, uh, apply the brakes. Uh, but that is how that's supposed to go on there. The thin side to the pad side. And the this longer side, springy portion, to the outside of the pad. So, uh, Oh, that one I'm in pretty easy. Sometimes you really gotta finagle them. But that's what that looks like now. And like this. There we go. Quite, there we go. All right. Now the caliper. Okay, now we slide the caliper over the pads. Again, use thread lock. Okay, got those snuck down. Now we'll torque those to uh, 26 foot pounds. Twenty-six. That's not much, is it? Okay, now to uh, hook the brake line back up, the, the banjo fitting. This caliper did come with a, a new uh, banjo bolt. Um, apparently some don't. And here's the two uh, copper washers. One, let's see here. Sure this is, let's make sure this is cleaned off here. Yeah. Okay, so one washer is going to go on the bolt head like this. Slip that through, and the other washer is going to go on the other side. Of the banjo fitting. Yeah, 15 millimeter, as we said in the beginning. And then there's no torque that I could see for this. So, what we're going to do, so we want to crush those uh, copper gaskets. So, we're going to bottom it out and then go like another half turn yes it looks like it's crushed you don't want to strip out the there we go okay we're back together here so now it's time to uh, bleed it bleed the brakes Okay, you guys, we are ready to uh, add brake fluid and uh, bleed the brakes. Um, so here's your bleeder. You know, this is 10 millimeter. And I'm going to 
want to open it, don't take it out. Just uh, open it. So that should be open now. It looks to me like the master cylinder is almost empty. So uh, I'm going to fill the master cylinder and then, then I'm going to do what's called gravity bleed. Where I'm just going to let, let the, the system, let the, let the fluid come into the system and it, it'll push the air out here. Um, then after we do that, then we'll do some, some pump of the brakes. So uh, I'll get back to you when we're pumping brakes. You guys are wanting to see Lisa. There she is. She's going to help me lead the brakes. Okay, the master cylinder is full. The bleeder screw. The bleeder screw is snug. Now I'm going to have Lisa put the uh, slowly put the pedal all the way to the. Okay, you can slowly put the pedal. There's probably not much feeling there, is it? Not much, okay. It's already all the way to the floor. It went all the way to the floor? Okay. Hold it there. Okay, go down. Okay, she's pressing the pedal all the way, slowly, all the way to as far as it'll go. Now, okay, now we're getting more fluid. See the air bubbles in that? Okay, up. Go down. Push it all the way to the floor. Loosen that. Anyway, so we're going to do that until we don't get any bub bubbles. And then we'll uh, take it for a test drive. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay. Alright. Make sure it works. Well, it feels good. Yes, it's definitely better than the yeah. better than before. It, be one, than it was before. Oh, there's a kitty cat out there. You know Garfield? Alright, pick up the speed here a little bit. Oh yeah, yeah, we're we're good. I think I'm gonna go around and, and bleed all the brakes too. Here's those darn landscapers. Anytime I try to film or edit, landscapers. But uh, anyway, yeah, I was I was waiting to do the, the rear brakes and, until I had a place to do them. Um, so that's what, what they, what, I let them go longer than I should have. Um, yeah, those, but, but uh, yeah, once your brakes start scree uh, screeching, scraping, take a look at them, get them, get them done. So, uh, but uh, anyway, we love you guys. Uh, we'll have a little, you know, that was a kind of adventure, adventure for me in the Home Depot, Depot parking lot. But uh, yeah, we'll have a little more of a fun adventure in a couple weeks. So we love you guys. Hit that notification bell. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed, and we'll see you in our next adventure next time. Bye.